Good morning, friends around the world. Today's topic of meditation is finding peace in an otherwise contumacious world. Let's consider that one of the major contributors to a life of chaos, a life that has no peace, is the inability to remain in the present moment. We find ourselves constantly drawing conclusions about situations where we truly don't know what's going to happen, or understand the future. Let's consider this ancient story about the old man and his white horse. There once was an old man who owned a beautiful white horse. Whenever noblemen passed through the village, they always noticed the horse and offered him handsome sums of money for the stallion. But the old man always declined their offer, saying, This horse is my friend. How can I sell my friend? Well, one morning, the old man woke up to find the horse was gone. The village gathered and said, Old man, you were a fool not to sell the horse. You could have been wealthy. Now it has been stolen, and you have nothing. It is a great misfortune. But the old man replied, Do not go so far as to say that, whether the horse was stolen or not, or whether it is a misfortune or a blessing is unknown. All we know is that the horse is not in the stable. Some days later, the horse returned, bringing with it several beautiful wild mares. Again, the village people gathered and they said, Old man, you were right. The horse was not stolen. And it was not a misfortune. It was a blessing. And now you have many fine horses. But the old man replied, Again, you go too far. Don't say it is a good thing. Don't say it is a bad thing. Just say that the horse is back. Whether it is a blessing or a misfortune is unknown. Some days later, the old man's son began to train the wild mares, but he was thrown and trampled, and one of his legs got broken badly. Again, the village people gathered together. Old man, you were right. It was not a blessing, but a great misfortune. And now your son, your only son, is lame. With a sigh, the old man replied, Don't say it's a good thing. Don't say it's a bad thing. Just say my son has a broken leg. Whether it is a blessing or a misfortune is unknown. It happened that a few weeks later, the country went to war and all the able-bodied young men were forcibly taken for the military. Only the old man's son was passed over because he was crippled. The whole village was crying and weeping for they believed their sons probably be killed and never come home to them. In their grief, they came to the old man and said, You were right, old man. Your son's injury has proven to be a blessing. Your son may be crippled, but he is with you, while our sons are gone forever. The old man simply shook his head and said, Will you never learn? Only say that your sons have been forced into the military, and my son has not. More than that is unknown. How quickly we jump to conclusions. And the truth is, we're often mistaken. Living in the present moment is truly all we have. The past is behind us, and the future is unknown. Please, use the rest of this time for meditation and consider ways in which you can stay in the present, leave the past behind you, and your future in God's hands.